I don't feel at home in this world anymore. It's the newest Netflix original movie. Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore. So, I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore stars uh, Milliam, Milliam uh, Lewinsky and Elijah Wood. And what this film is basically about it's about this woman who, you know, just is kind of, you know, it's just this woman who's kind of just average. She works as a nurse. And, you know, she just doesn't feel at home in this world anymore, basically, like the title of the film. And one day, a bunch of robbers break into her house, and she's wondering, like, who stole all of my stuff? And then once we go further and further into the movie, some weird and wacky stuff starts to happen. So, what did I think of I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore? Now, I went to, into this movie with, like, little to no expectations, really, because... I didn't really hear too much about the movie because, you know, really, it, it was just kind of on Netflix. And, you know, my good friend Tony and I, we decided, well, let's just watch this together. And I will say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really liked I Don't Feel at Home in This World anymore. I think it's a very enjoyable movie. I will indeed say this might not be a movie for everyone because of how kind of, how weird it gets at some points. But I will say, it is a very enjoyable movie. I didn't quite enjoy I Don't Feel at Home in this world anymore. So, let's get to my positives with the film. And my positives are, first being the acting. I thought the acting was actually really good in this film. The acting was actually pretty solid in this movie. Uh, Milliam Lewinsky, I believe that's how... I believe that's her name. She was really good. I really liked her in the movie. I think she did... A very good job in my eyes. I thought she was very good in the movie. I really enjoyed her. She did a very good job in my eyes. I thought she was really solid in the film. Elijah Wood, by far to me, was the best character in this movie. He plays this guy named Tony who is like, you know, he's very well skilled. Let's just say that. He's very weird and he's very well skilled and he's awesome. I loved him in the movie. He was definitely just, he was just fun to watch on screen. I really enjoyed Elijah Wood in this movie. He was just so fun to watch on screen. Um, he was just great. I, uh, great. I loved him in the movie. He did such a fantastic job in my eyes. Um, the guys who played the villains are pretty solid too. I like the villains in the movie too. Um, I, I forgot the, the names of the um, two guys that were in the movie, but that were the villains, but they were pretty good. And Jane Levy is actually in the movie too, but she really, I want to say... She doesn't, I, I don't want to say she doesn't do much, but I want to, I will say, she's in, in there for just like a small role, and what she has to do is actually pretty cool, and, you know, I enjoyed her along with the other two that were the villains, so, yeah, they were pretty solid as well. So, yeah, overall, the acting is really solid in this movie, I thought this movie had some really solid acting. Now, this movie is like a, uh, a dark comedy, along with being like a crime drama, and I will say the dark comedy element of this movie actually works. Like, I did find myself laughing a lot throughout the movie. And, you know, it's not like the most hysterical movie ever or anything. But I will say, when they do use the dark comedy element of this movie, it actually does work. I don't feel like it was forced or contrived or really. It actually flowed really well with the pace of the movie and how the movie was going and everything. And I will say, it actually did work in my eyes. And I very much liked the actually dark comedy element of this movie because it did make me laugh a lot during this film. Um, I did like the chemistry between uh, Milliam Lewinsky and um, Elijah Wood. I thought they actually had pretty good chemistry with each other and they were actually very fun to watch on screen. They were just very enjoyable. I actually thought they did have some uh, good on-screen chemistry with each other. Um, the soundtrack also was really good to this movie. I really like the soundtrack as well with the film. Um, the writing's pretty great. I do love the writing with the movie. Some really great writing in my eyes. The directing is very great as well. It's a very well-directed film. Some great cinematography. I thought it was very well shot. Very, very nice directing in my eyes. I thought the directing was really great with this film. I thought it was just phenomenal. I love the directing with the movie. And the pacing, for the most part, is actually very well paced. Like, the movie's only an hour and 36 minutes, and... Really, it moves at a pretty nice uh, natural pace for the most part, really. I do, I was invested for um, the majority of this movie. You know, it did kept me 
invested in this movie for the most part, really. So, yeah. Now, the only negatives I want to say I do have with this movie are first being um, th that the movie does fall under those, you know, typical um, kind of our house tri uh, tribes. Tro no, tropes, that's how you say. Uh, those are typical, kind of typical art house tropes at times. Just at times it does, like, you know, slow moving shots and all that. Just at times. They don't do it throughout the entire film, you know, thank, thank the Lord. But there are some times where it does fall under those typical art house tropes. I was just like, okay, really? But, um... Also, there's there was one unanswered question. It's a I want to say this is a minor negative with me, but there was just one unanswered question to me that was just like, wait a minute. It, there was just one unanswered question in this movie that I was just like, wait, wait, hold on a minute. That it, just one unanswered question in this movie that I was just like, wait, hold on a minute. And that that that's it really. It's just like a really minor negative. Really, it's just like I was like. Wait a minute, hold on a minute. Like, it, it just kind of confused me a little bit because it was so unanswered to me. I don't really want to spoil it because, you know, I don't want to spoil the movie. But I just will say there was just one uh, one question that was left unanswered to me. I was just like, okay, where where does that go? You know what I mean? So, yeah. And lastly, the movie does, um, also the first ten minutes of the movie, it really does kind of struggle to find its place. But once, you know, the movie gets going, it actually is really enjoyable. So, yeah. So overall, I did enjoy, I don't feel at home in this world anymore. I think it's a very enjoyable movie. You know, it's very weird. It's very different. It, it It's a very nice, dark comedy crime thriller. I do think they do a very good job with that. And I very much enjoyed the movie. I think it's a very solid film. So aside from my official grade on, I don't feel at home in this world anymore. And my official grade on, I don't feel at home in this world anymore is a B+. Plus. It's a very enjoyable movie. It's on Netflix. If you want to check it out, it's right on Netflix. It's a Netflix original movie. So I definitely recommend you check it out. It's a very enjoyable film. I really enjoyed it. So yeah. So what did you guys think of I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm Film Panel 599. And we'll see you about later. Peace.